There's 2,000 people outside. Mm -hmm. Felt like Ozfest. That looks insane. He had the name Tsunami, like seriously, like a decade in. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, and then we were, yo, let's do this, like a like a crazy ignorant band. Like we went to my house, like, and like just like designed the, the dumbest shirt possible, which was the first shirt that we ever printed. Today's episode is brought to you by MartyrStore.net. They are presenting the return of Milwaukee Metal Fest this May. Plus, they have merch from Haybreed, Corpse Grinder, Ripper, Crowbar, and more. MartyrStore.net has autographed items such as CDs, LPs, and posters signed by George Corpse Grinder Fisher himself. Plus, Joss CDs, LPs signed by Jimmy Jossa, Howard Jones, and they just added meet and greet packages for Milwaukee Metal Fest. Use code Garza at checkout and save 10% off at MartyrStore.net. And don't forget, Milwaukee Metal Fest is May 26th, 27th, and 28th at the Rave Eagles Club in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Well, holy moly, good morning. We got Tsunami. Live as fuck. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> good to see you guys, man. Likewise. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah thank absolutely. you. Dude, I, I've been hearing a lot about, about your band, so I'm, I'm honored just to be around you guys. It's crazy, huh? That is crazy. Like, yeah. yeah. I was just hanging out with Benny in uh, Columbia. It was cool. <laughs> so, yeah, that was one of the craziest days of my life. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> you. Dude, you saw Pantera. Yeah, and you. What? In Columbia. No, don't don't, yeah, don't, don't yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah. Don't do that now. <laughs> yeah. dude, how, dude, how insane was uh, Pantera? That was sick, dude. I never even thought I would see them in my lifetime, honestly. Who did? So, yeah. Me either. I was blown away that we even had that opportunity. So I take it that was your, your first, first time seeing him, huh? Yeah. 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 Shit, dude, same. Yeah. <laughs> I, mi I missed him, dude. I tried to see him when I was 12, but uh, the show in L.A. around here was uh, sold out, and I was went outside with a friend. Uh, we tried to look at, like, scalpers, tried to, like, talk to people, but they were trying to rip us off we, you know we're, we're 13 and yeah. just didn't work out but then uh, we had our mom uh, my friend's mom drive us back to Corona and then we ended up seeing Throwdown oh Sick. way better even cool yeah even <laughs> cool that, and that started this whole that was not my first time seeing like like a the band and that I never heard that music before it's like I was just like let's stop by this venue I keep hearing about from high school Showcase and then Throwdown's playing That's and sick. that changed my life hell Dope. yeah so weird so Pantera keeps keeps doing it man yeah mm -hmm. yeah you know that was an impressive show I remember at one point the ground was shaking from everybody jumping. Oh, just jumping. In sync. Oh, yeah. But I thought there was an earthquake going on or I thought I had vertigo or something because I felt <laughs> I felt wobbly and I realized it was everybody jumping to the Pantera riff. Are you sure you weren't just too high? I'm positive. <laughs> I know that's a believable theory, <laughs> but I'm too high regularly and yes. I, was, I was chilling. I actually wasn't that high in Colombia. Really? Nah. He was a little scared to... Yeah. Yeah. To do illegal activities. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was being yeah. a good boy. I was on my good behavior out there. Yeah. Did you just go straight to the other stuff or what's up? No, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no just coffee. It's coffee? Just coffee and Pantera. That's all you need out there in <laughs> Colombia, man. <laughs> yeah, it, it does get kind of dicey when, like, you, you want to smoke, but, like, I'm in a different part of the world. I have no idea how it works. I'm the only person in the band who smokes also. Really? Yeah, so I'm okay. never trying to inconvenience everybody, especially if we're with homies and stuff. Like, oh, I gotta go find weed before we do this, you know? Yeah. I'm the only fiend here, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which reminds me, I, fuck, I, I, I blew it. I forgot to tell you that you're allowed to, to be in here and smoke and all that shit. I mean, I have all my stuff, but we'll do this and we can smoke later. <laughs> okay, sure. <Yeah. laughs> Beautiful. So, so your guys' first show was yesterday here? Yeah. Yeah, well, at Chain. Yeah, Chain. So I, I hear it was awesome. Fuck yeah. yeah, it was sick. A Can't lot of it. a lot of new kids. There's a lot of young kids in the crowd whenever we play LA. Which is sick. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. love it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of new faces. But it's cool. It's like a, do you think it's like a new generation of like hardcore fans coming in? I yeah, personally. Yeah. Definitely. Uh and it's just like all sprouted like after the pandemic too. So it's kinda mm. like weird what their starting point is. Like I don't really quite I don't know where it came from, but yeah. they're coming in like, like boatloads, dude. It's yeah. sick. I think TikTok helped. I was gonna say it's gotta yeah. be TikTok and TikTok. social media and everything. Yeah. Especially you guys, you have such like a deep rooted history with like the Bay Area and, and, and San Jose and East Bay, and like basically over half your lives going to you know shows you know around there and like seeing like a whole. It's probably a trip seeing like a whole new like generation and group of people coming out to. Like That's what I mean. Time. We notice all the new faces at all the shows, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's cool. It's yeah. really cool that kids like 
the music we're putting out. You guys are like, who the fuck are all these people? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Straight <laughs> up. That's what I mean. I, I've been going to shows all my life. Yeah. You, you, yeah. You've been going to shows since what you were in, what, like sixth grade? Yeah. Maybe like fifth grade, something like that. Fifth yeah, grade. I was like young. I was just like a little kid. I had no business being in like a room <laughs> no. being like that violent. But Grown I was men young. beating <laughs> yeah. the shit out of kids. <laughs> Did you, well, I mean, were you like sneaking out or what, what's... <laughs> uh, not really. Like my mom was cool with dropping me off at shows, but she was like kind of nervous because she'd be like see people smoking weed outside. So she was just like in the parking lot, just like looking at me, making sure I like <laughs> don't participate. But she was like pretty open about it. She thought it would be like a phase, and mm. I just like give up on hardcore and like music. But yeah, totally not. Here we are. <laughs> totally disappointing her still. <laughs> years later, <laughs> fucking years later. I mean, what you're you're twenty eight, twenty nine now, right? Twenty nine, yeah. Wow what that's almost 20 years ago and going to shows you know yeah yeah that's, Close. that's insane that's sad to <laughs> what? hear out loud <laughs> you know like, that's crazy that, that is that, pretty nuts huh like, that's we, insane I, like we, we've been going to, we've all been going to shows for over half our lives yeah. you know I, I'm, I'm 37 and uh, and I, I didn't start going to shows I was like you know 14 or something yeah but that's 8th ninth grade eighth ninth grade mm-hmm. you know so it's sixth grade dude that's that that's elementary yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's not even junior high that's elementary and, and mm-hmm. you're and you're 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 are you in the pit already are you fucking moshing mm, i don't know <laughs> no <laughs> i don't think so <laughs> but i don't know it's cool it's like dude like when i think about it because i have a cousin same age range and i like talk to my friends about this all the time it's like yeah i'm um, where i'm at now playing shows and my cousin's the same age, and he, like, went the life path of going to college, and, like, mm-hmm. he's a doctor now. Yeah. So it's just like, fuck, like, Crazy. if I didn't, like, do hardcore, maybe I'd be a doctor. But I'm still chilling, you know? Like, I love my life. But uh, that's just, like, how it goes. Yeah, you've, like, um, and you, from what I, I understand, like, you pick up the bass, and you, it seems like you always knew that you wanted to, like, to, to be in the music in some kind of capacity. Yeah, like... Even now, I don't think, like, I still play bass and guitar in bands, and I don't mm-hmm. think I'm, like, a good player, like, whatsoever, but yeah. I just, like, like being involved. Yeah. Yeah. Well, accomplished. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it goes to show, man, just don't stop, you know? If, if you really love it, it's, you're just, just going to naturally do it, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know? Anyway, uh, horrible job of me being a host, but uh, can we do, like, a quick intro? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm Joseph, and yeah. I sing in the band. Michael and I do guitar. <laughs> I, I'm Benny and I slap the tubs. <laughs> Tub slapper? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh my goodness. Uh, Theo, play bass. Nice. Well, honor again, honor to, to have you guys. So, uh, Theo, when did so you you met uh, Joseph at a show? Correct. I think vaguely. Yeah, probably. Probably like <laughs> sophomore, junior year? S- something like that. I don't even think we got properly introduced one time. I think like we just knew kind of like the same people. Mm-hmm. So it was like just like Yo, just around. Yeah, yeah, like what's up? We just yeah. started getting more around each other. Yeah, after time. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of funny when you're forced to like I should just talk to this person. Yeah. You know? the, yeah. But, yeah. yeah, but but the question is who who made who made the first move? <laughs> so I probably said what's up to him because if anyone knows him, he used to be the most quiet person mm. in the world. Mm-hmm. Like like you you wouldn't know he was there. <laughs> he would laugh maybe like once a month. Yeah, <laughs> it was you know, insane. You so yeah, so you so you counted. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Sick>. <laughs> nah, yeah, and then. Fuck, yeah. And then we started, because he grew up in the East Bay, mm-hmm. and I'm from San Jose. And then I think just shows coming together more, just we started seeing each other more and more and more. Mm-hmm. And our friend group just got bigger and bigger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine if you never initiated that, that that first point of contact, you know. Yeah. That that shit will change your life. It's crazy, you mm-hmm. know. Yeah. You know, just like, mm-hmm. oh, you, you always see that person, like, oh, I've got to say something. You know, which uh, we, like uh, Joseph, like we, we probably had that in common where, you know, you're just, you're just naturally going, like, like, like to a show, you're, you're, uh, you know, you're an introvert, you know, it's like, you just, you're not talking to anybody, but yet you're just always there. Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. You, you just like want, want to be there. You see all these bands, you're fucking buying the shirt and now, and now you're moshing, you're not talking. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, it's how, um, 
I don't even remember how I met some of the guys in the band because I was the same way. Just didn't talk, but for some reason, like it's good to show like energy will kind of draw you even more than like than, like saying words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. And like even if like you don't talk, like people like outsiders, like if they see you there, they respect that you're going to shows still. Mm-hmm. So like, you're there's still- nothing wrong with being like quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just some people are quiet and some aren't. Yeah. Should we cover the lore about you sitting on your phone at the merch table with no friends? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I, I just, we, we played this fest in Florida, uh, FYA Fest, mm-hmm. like two years ago now. And uh, I don't know what happened. I just was just outside, just on my phone, just relaxing. I probably just played a set. And then someone on Facebook or Twitter or something like that was like, yo, this guy, like... Has, this guy has no friends. His band doesn't even want to hang out with him. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my goodness! But um, I guess that's something's wrong with me for chilling. <laughs> <laughs> and we like we, we like chilling, man. You know? Oh yeah. It's like, like everyone has their own personality <clears throat> traits and how how they like being being around people. Mm-hmm. You know? Because I, I I'm a, I'm an introvert too. It's like you know sometimes you just don't feel like talking. Mm-hmm. And did you ever feel like? Like uh, people kind of will kind of poke at you. Oh, you got, uh, I I I don't like when people said, "Oh, he's like like he's quiet." Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, not a big deal now, but when you're you know, fourteen, fifteen, it's just kind of like, uh, you know. Yeah, it, it was definitely like annoying at times because it's just like that's just who I am, you know. Like I'm not gonna force myself to be like obnoxious or something like that yeah but uh like, like you know benny right yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'd be trying to annoy the fuck out of everybody i swear okay. but like, <laughs> it's cool i feel like as you grow up you don't care anymore if people like bug you and also mm-hmm. like the other people when they grow up they just like understand like this dude's just quiet just leave him alone yeah yeah and then some people you gotta like sometimes you do like initiate a conversation because like you just don't want people start to think that you you hate them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like, oh shit, I don't like, I, I don't like that. Dude, I've been there before. Like, there's so many people that I, I'm friends with now that are like, yo, I, like, I thought you cool guyed me, like, uh, uh, like dude. knowing you at first, and I'm yeah. like, just nah, dude. <laughs> like, yeah. But it's chill. Yeah, I've done the same thing. No, man, we're, I'm just, I'm just quiet. That's it. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't, I'm not, I didn't cool guy you. I, I don't hate you. Yeah, you yeah. Know, yeah. I, I only, I only hate myself. <laughs> 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 you know. And you guys uh, have been in so many different, uh, different bands. You know, it's kind of like kind of like molded, like tsunami without like, without even knowing. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. guys were both in like a similar area. So so you're all from the uh, the Bay Area, correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, cool. And that's his own like community and you know, and a fucking tribal mosh you know area. You know, it's cool. <laughs> and um, so, so many bands and from from what I I understand. Like Sanabi kind of came up as like a joke. So, so what? So what? Uh, Theo, Joseph, and, and Mike, are you, are you guys hanging out and talking? Hey, let's just write some ignorant ass riffs. That's literally what it was. I had the name. <laughs> okay. I had the name for years. Oh, really? Dirt had the music, in his chilling. Head. Yeah, in his back pocket, <laughs> and then Joseph had the vision. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's not. It sounds like a joke, but that's a very strong foundation without even trying yeah he, we had, had, he had the name tsunami like seriously like a decade in <laughs> Whoa. Uh, and then we were just chilling one time we we're like yo let's do this t- like a like a crazy ignorant band we'll use that name that he's been trying to put on forever <laughs> <laughs> and then like we went to my house like and like just like designed like, the dumbest shirt possible which was the first shirt that we ever printed Sick. and then uh we just wrote music pretty quick I wrote mu- we wrote the music based on what I think a band with that name would make. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that, that's a great concept. <laughs> yeah. You know? We're like, all right, he's missing the T. All right, I gotta make it ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's true, huh? Yeah. 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 So, like, that's, this like this needs to be fucking ignorant as fuck. So so you already had those rips. No, not really. The way I write with Tsunami is our homie Toshio has a studio in his house and he kinda mm-hmm. like uh I don't know, I kind of just go in there and make shit up, and he kind of arranges it to where it's a cohesive song. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like our producer. Because I, I heard a rumor that sometimes you'll just go in there book time with no riffs. Yep, that's 90% of the time. <laughs> yeah, the whole de- I think the demo was him just making shit up in the studio. Yep. Dude, how did... Uh, uh, 
I it's mean, all it, it, I, we got to give more credit to Toshio because he yeah. kind of is just like, all right, we should. He did the he, drums. Helps he did the drums on the first two, yeah. re- first three releases. He, yeah, that's yeah, all. Fake he wrote. Drums. He wrote the drums. I just learned them. Well, I I couldn't even tell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. That's that's some skill. I mean, are you not feeling any pressure? Are you just like saying this is chill? Are you, you what? How? Because that that would freak me out. <laughs> well, because we didn't. No one knew when we were doing the demo. No one knew it, so we we're like. Whatever, if it goes nowhere, it goes nowhere. Like, it's just for fun. Yeah, this man had no, like, goal. Our goal was, we did have one goal. We were going to do the <laughs> Ignorant Band, and we had, a f- to make a cheat code for every show to pop, we were going to do a first show, EP release show, last show, and reunion show within, like, four weeks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but then the pandemic happened, so we didn't get to do it. Oh, my goodness. That's fucking nuts, dude. <clears throat> so I mean, you guys, so you guys are talking. You, you already had the band name for I guess like a decade, or maybe or maybe even two. <laughs> and then, and then li- literally like a month later, you're already tracking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's quick. Yeah. And we are never supposed to play outside of San Jose. Really? Was that yeah. was that also a, a just talk? yeah? Just like why? It's because we were all <laughs> in like we were all in bands that I mean we all still enjoy them, but like mm-hmm. those were like. The priority at the time we're like yeah. yeah that's wow and your and your timeline is crazy like this there's so many hap- there's so many things happening for you guys in 2019 so you from like a meeting okay let's have a first shirt okay now we're going to write a riff now we got a demo out and then to your first show mm-hmm. which was that uh we it's we a, we have it here. Is, it, is this a house show? What like what? It's a, what's it's a, going it's on? It's a house in downtown San Jose, but it's like uh, it's called the Peace and Justice Center. It's like a women and children's center. Oh my! And they let us do uh, punk and hardcore shows there for a while. And uh, Dude, I haven't watched. Yeah, this is crazy. Motherfuckers were outside. They couldn't get in. But really? it's literally it was insane. A, a, it was a uh, Halloween show. It's a Halloween yeah. show, but that room is a living room, and then that. Behind it, where everyone's standing behind. Yeah, what's that's the, like a what's... like a separate like little living room. Uh, but it was crazy. I think the cap the capacity was like seventy people. Whoa! Uh, we let like a like, hundred something in, and oh then there was goodness. still like a hundred people outside. Wow! Yeah, it, and for for a show like we we I didn't expect that, and it, it was just cool though. <laughs> it was cool. <laughs> None of us. Ex- we practiced one time before that, right? Mm-hmm. One time before the set, the day of. No, I'd never played with them. No, no way. Right. He he missed me on Instagram asking if we wanted a drummer. We practiced <laughs> the day. <laughs> like it was a joke. We Dude. practiced one time the day of the show, and then we played this. All right, I'm not mistaken. That's Dude, how we it went were, down. I forgot. At the beginning, we were just gonna uh, have a bunch of people stand behind us. And just play the drum tracks over the PA. Okay. <laughs> of course. And then he was, like, was like, oh, we actually have a drummer. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> this That's is... how much of, like, I just not asked. serious we were being in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, I mean, Joseph, so you're, I mean, so you're filming this. Uh, so... I, I posted it, but I think our friend Eric, he was just, like, sitting on, like, this little ledge just filming. What? Well, uh, uh, were you approached or did you, uh, you approach him? Hey, can, can you film this or like what? You know? No, it's, no, he was just like, oh, dude, honestly, it's too crazy in there. I'm just going to sit and just film. Whoa. So it was just on his own accord. Yeah, there's just, a few uh, people that just do that. Yeah. That just post up and just film everything. That's a great, that that's what you call a community. There's yeah. someone getting punched in the face right now. <laughs> <laughs> what the, okay. I, I take it also this is Halloween. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. So not, not only this is, there's someone getting punched right now. What, what is he? Oh my God. <laughs> I, need, I, need, I need a face. And what's kind of crazy about this, no one's getting into a fight. No. Mm-hmm. Everyone here they in, were all in this room at this moment, yeah, we, everyone knows each other. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get fucked. Okay, pause. There's someone, I've never seen this before in my fucking life. There's someone with boxing gloves. Yeah, I think he was, it was supposed to be a boxer. Oh, his costume. Yeah, 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 yeah. costume. Yeah. So he has boxing gloves, a mouthpiece. There's and, a pirate, and there's a pirate. That I see a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! First show, Halloween show, mm-hmm. film it. That dude. That's a lot of it. Th- that's a lot of things aligning, and then so. Okay. Also, what's in- oh, <laughs> this guy's having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> So what's also insane? Just, just top off, top off this, and, and and the evening for for you guys is that, how the fuck did people know the words? 
We put the the EP had, or the demo had already been out. For the a demo's bit. been out for maybe like a month at that point. A month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A month. But I I spent like the two months prior like jokingly being stupid on Twitter and like forming like people were like just saying stupid shit. But they're like, "Yo, what a tsunami!" Like, are you guys actually gonna put out music? But then like straight up two months, I was just posting nonsense like. <laughs> Get ready, stay tuned. Like we're having music <laughs> drop. Okay, and we never uh, posted who was in the band too. Mm -hmm. So I think when we played, people were like, "Oh, like okay, that's who stood out." Me, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you've all and you've also all built your names up within the uh, community. So once so once that was announced, it was all oh, oh wow, this is gonna be probably a sick band. <laughs> yeah, wow. yeah, it was fun, interesting. So I guess. You are, uh, Joseph, you might be the hype master. <laughs> That's without, without even trying. That is pretty sick. Yeah, it was dope. So this, so to show everyone understands the date here. So San Jose, uh, October 26th. No, uh, so the show is 26th. You post it, you post it on your personal channel mm -hmm. on the 27th. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, and then what happens from there? So this show, and then there's clips, other clips of the same show on Twitter. And literally after the day after I fly to Japan and then the clips on Twitter like kind of just blow up. They're like, this is crazy. And then like a lot of people that I don't know pers that I didn't know personally, but a lot of people that I respect like were like, yo, this is cool. And then like we got immediately offers from like uh, that fest FYA from Florida. Mm -hmm. They're like, yo, you guys should open it. And then I think. Like a week after this video posted, Sound and Fury hit us up mm. to play that year. Uh, Whoa. And it was just random. It's just like, yo, this is cool. Like, it's just like a, you guys seem pop and you guys want to play these fests that I've wanted to play my whole life. Uh, and I was just like, damn, really? This band? <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> but that's just what happened. And then pretty much after that, the pandemic happened, though. But at that yeah. point, we're like, we don't even know if we really want to play those things because... At this point, we're still like this show is awesome, but like, is let's it still, a one and done? Yeah, or? is it still, or should we still go by like we'll just play three shows and we're we're done? And I think we we were still all down for that, but then still the, sticking with it, still sticking with with, with the plan, with the plan. <laughs> and then the pandemic happened, and, and so there was obviously no shows, but our popularity grew for whatever reason, and at the point when we started playing shows again, like it was just impossible. Like we had to be a band. You guys didn't have a choice at that at that at that point. Mm -hmm. it, it was funny because our first few shows when we didn't really know. We joked about doing a few shows and quitting, but we were getting offers, so we didn't really know what was going on. I remember yeah. he said, oh, we're not playing this song ever again at some of the shows and we played it countless times since then. <laughs> yeah, so we didn't know what was going on. We had no plan for mm -hmm. what was in the future for the us. The second show was the thirty five hundred people? Yeah, the outside show. Yeah, yeah we. Uh, so when the pandemic happened, um, have you ever heard of that band Dead City? So uh, from what I understand, were you at that Dead City show, or did you, or, or did you hear about it? <clears throat> we drove out there to check it out. You, you drove down. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Because all our friends were playing too. Okay. Um, and then uh, Dead City, yeah, crazy shows, yeah. dude. Yeah. And then uh, on our way back, we were just like, "Why can't we do that? Why can't we do that?" You know, with our friends. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, Drain played Gulch, uh, Scowl, mm -hmm. Zabalba, Zabalba, mm -hmm. and a local band called My Overize. Yes, and that's we the just lineup. Did mm -hmm. it, fucking DIY. Our the singer of Gulch built the stage in the morning. Elliot, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, Cole from Gulch, he has a print shop. We did a merch pop up there. Mm. And then our friend had a warehouse, and he was just like, "Yo, like no one is here on the weekends, so we like, just used up his parking lot." Yeah. yeah, dude. Hey, Jay, can you bring up the flyer, please? Yeah, uh, not that one. Or yeah, oh, yeah, that is it? Oh, <laughs> skeletal <laughs> remains it. didn't play. June nineteenth, five p.m. Mm -hmm. What gold drain tsunami? Five bucks. Five dollars. <laughs> we were expecting maybe like five hundred people, mm -hmm. and then people $2, from like people New York were like, "Yo, I'm taking the train out there. Like, where is this gonna be?" Yeah, so. someone from Pennsylvania is like, "Yo, I'm hitchhiking all the way yeah. over there." Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. kids from New Mexico came and dabbed me out. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm not, that was like their thing. They were like, we need to dab with you. We came from uh, Albuquerque. And I was wow. like, I got you. Let's, let's do it. Thanks for coming. And this, <laughs> and this was announced day of. Yeah. The location was announced day of, yeah. But uh, even like prior, were you kind of doing like the same thing you were doing on Twitter? Kind of like maybe throwing out some like hints here and there? Of the location, well, people kind of, I don't know when we announced like when the show was actually going to happen, but the date was out online for the public. Wow. There's 2,000 people outside. Mm -hmm. Felt like OzFest. Mm. That looks insane. There's two people still getting punched in the face. What? There, there's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys are all really good friends. That's. <laughs> there's fucking like two, three pits going on right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was fucking insane. So at this point, are you stressed out? Are you like, this is getting uh... a little bit out of control? It was it was very shocking that no cops came other than like I think Gulch had like two songs left at the end of the night and yeah. uh, a homeless dude got ran over on the street over yeah so so we thought we heard cops and we were like oh, okay it's yeah, we got gonna it. get shut down but no yeah it's they never going. shooting yeah. off fireworks too yeah Jay pull up uh, Gulch pull up uh, the uh, clip please <laughs> what a fucking insane yeah. It, 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 so they're literally this is kind of a dream of mine like this seeing fireworks it was kind of like uh, you know that movie Project X no <laughs> you've never seen that uh -oh. <laughs> it's just, just like, like a comedy yeah but this kid just throws like a crazy house party that just like is too crazy but... that's sick yeah okay that had to be like okay this is gonna end that, that point I was like <laughs> fuck cops are definitely gonna see fireworks going on we're mm. fucked but everyone, there's something about what's what I, I'm seeing. I mean, there's a lot of chaos going on, but it's like no one's really like fighting any, anybody else. No, it's, there it's, wasn't. It's like this weird. This was also this like straight up like one of the first shows after the pandemic period. So yeah, like, people yeah, were people like were stoked. The mask yeah, mandate got lifted, and we threw that like the following weekend, or I, oh or wow, the same week I think. Yeah, yeah. You guys were fucking proactive. Oh wow. And so wait, uh, so so they, so what what came first? Did you see Dead City first, and then the mask? Yeah, Dead got, City, got... yeah, was first. Okay, yeah. and then by the same time, and then the mask gets lifted. It kind of like that. What? That's a that's a crazy timing. Mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, yeah. Where it's like, man, you got to act quick, and you guys definitely acted quick. And it seems what really helped your your band also is that like you have this community of other sick bands like Gulch and Skull that was down to fucking play. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, it seemed like yeah. there was no like politics involved which fucking ruins and slows everything down and seems like with with you guys you guys all talking and you guys having you guys book your own shows mm -hmm. yeah everything's diy with no manager no booking nothing just joseph yeah he does it just straight up just all right i'm i'm booking it <laughs> <laughs> well like even with this tour we did it all ourselves yeah i mean obviously we have friends to yeah. contact to like help make it easier but sure just all us. That is so. You, you booked a in-house tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like twenty-nine days too. Yeah. He oh, we bro we broke it up like uh, sections of the country. So he did like the West Coast. He did more of the middle, and then I did the East Coast. And we, yeah, we just hit up all of our friends in every city. Whoa. I never. I've I've never heard about that ever in my life. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> that is very sick. But that's very next level. How I mean, I don't even. I don't oh know. God! Did you see that meme that popped up? <laughs> <laughs> you want to go down a little bit. Down one more. Oh, maybe it's one more. What? <laughs> what is that? It begins. <laughs> oh my! Is there is there a, a meeting? Yeah. Oh, we I, say, I was late. I no, was I'm late. late. No, I'm late. No, I'm late. <laughs> Who, so, all right, so who made this meme? We just found it. We, we just found, found it. it. <laughs> oh, so you found yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. How do you start, uh, yeah, how do you start booking shows? You're just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna start, start and see what happens? Uh, I mean, we have friends that, like, we would contact mm -hmm. uh, that are, like, kind of the guys, but they're like, could we use this venue? And they're always down. Because we're all friends, so, like, I don't know, it's just how it is. And, yeah. like, I don't want to wait around for people to ask me for shows. Mm. 
uh, or like ask my bands to play shows. So like if I want to play, I'm just going to do it myself. Mm -hmm. That's the way to go about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know why you guys just don't wait, you just, you just do it. Yeah. You guys ever, you ever heard of a band called uh, Hemorrhage? Yes. Oh, yeah, the Van Band? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. oh. Yes, I do know them. Then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oddly enough, uh, I found this out today because also with the, with the RBS show, I uh, forgot the name, the sickest band that played, uh, Fantana Row. <laughs> they uh, they also played. They did. did they, oh, did, they did pull up. They did yeah, pull up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The well, they pulled up to the wrong spot and like blew up the spot at our homie's <laughs> business. So oh. we were like, this band's whack. Bro. Oh, they did at the Mars oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. It's, it's they tough. also pulled up to one of our shows and started screaming "fuck tsunami." <laughs> so fuck that band. <laughs> oh my goodness, Fantana Row. Wow. This beef. Yeah, Hemorrhage is. So they're actually both in the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. uh, Hemorrhage isn't the one that pulled up to her. No, no. But the Hemorrhage is sick. They actually just got in an accident uh, a month ago. Oh yeah, I saw mm -hmm. that. But uh, they got a new minibus and they're fucking going quick. Sick. Quick, dude. That's insane. And they're 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 literally always down here. They're just fucking, they're like literally playing every show. Yeah. Yeah, once I was hanging around these guys, I'm like, damn, I, I, need, I need to do something, dude. I'm just fucking at home being lazy, eating pizza, thinking I'm killing it. You know? That's crazy. Okay, so RBS happens, and then, and then what comes after that? Flea market. Yeah, there was this, another San Jose outdoor show that was smaller than this, but it was like literally the the next weekend after uh yeah yeah this one stay thick and then uh <laughs> <laughs> after this i really don't know what came next just a bunch of shows that just like seems like it never stopped okay and also to to actually real quick to close off uh our rbs <clears throat> is that uh so so again you brought up the uh discussion and i guess i just found out your your game plan hey are we actually is, was that the last show? Are, are, are we are we done? I so remember after, we were loading yeah. gear back into my van after RBS, right? Yeah, and we're like, yeah, we should call it. <laughs> like, after we, this. Nothing's gonna top that. Like, all right, that was sick. Wow. Mm. But then, so uh, did you realize? Okay, like we got to we got to keep going. I, I I don't think we ever got the realization like we got to keep going, but we just kept mm -hmm. getting offers that we thought were cool so we're like yeah let's just keep playing these shows and then it just really never stopped just kept kept getting offers and mm -hmm. cool offers so you're, you're first you're doing like what's lethal about your band which i'm honestly to be transparent with you guys i'm gonna start uh borrowing from from you guys you guys are your music is consistent but there's no pattern like it's just okay you got a demo then you had an ep then you had a split now you have a uh, you're, not, you're, not, you're not going on tour on, you're doing only single shows now, now you're going on tour now, you have a, now apparently you have a full link I'm like there, that's a lethal where no one really knows what you guys are going to do mm -hmm. and uh, I, I'm going to take that element <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, everyone should do that so it sounds stressful being locked into like uh, like alright you have to do the singles and the LP and then the second LP because writing mm -hmm. LP was stressful man I don't know if I could do another one really? <laughs> yeah like it's it's cool to just do like whatever feels natural. Like, all right, we got these two songs. Let's just put out these two songs. Yeah, mm -hmm. interesting. And like, let's be real. Like, people now don't want to listen to ten tracks, mm -hmm. uh, so might as well just give them like four really good ones, and mm -hmm. then give them another four good ones. Yeah, attention span's real. Yeah, small. it's getting smaller. It's just shrinking slowly. Yeah, we wrote "I Don't Care" the song "I Don't Care." Like, kind of joking. Not really. We were just jamming in our practice room. And we liked it. And we were like, yo, let's record that. And then it became a song. <laughs> but then it was just a song. We didn't. It wasn't like a planned out thing. It's like you were saying. We just feel everything out, kind of. Oh, that one's a single, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we yeah. released it as a single first, yeah. Yeah, it was a single. The fuck went with, with, with the cannibal bands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> that, that, so that came out with the, then you, it was put again on the promo. Which yeah. I, what what is that? Promo? Is this is this called promo? Yeah. I mean like it was we were supposed to have an LP out shortly. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It didn't work out like that. Okay. We're still writing. It's promo for the LP that we're still writing. Mm -hmm. wow. Got it. Yeah. It's very early promo. Oh. <laughs> we're getting a we're getting a head start. It's like you're saying, we just think and we act. Yeah. Mostly uh, we're just most... getting the head start on the LP promo. 
I've Muslim... never heard about that in my life, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the LPL, yeah, it's not, yeah, it's supposed to be out now, but it's not out. Here, so <laughs> so I think we also it's because we were going to Europe and they're like, Oh, it would be kinda sick if you guys had something out before you came over here, so we just mm. kinda We wrote six. Yeah. And then we recorded I Don't Care and we did fake blood cover. And yeah. then we put it out as the promo. Interesting. Yeah. So, uh, so Mike, you you've been talking about how <clears throat> writing an LP is stressful. Yes. And how how so? I've me personally, I've never written that many songs in for at one time, and I just, I guess I I don't know. I I just don't know how like because a lot some people on their a uh, good LP they it's cohesive on like what song goes after what song how they go into each other. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. Or I'm, I'm <laughs> figuring it out, but it's. It's hard. Yeah. yeah. Sound yeah, just uh you write all those songs, you know. Yeah. And so and I don't know what happened with like with like heavy music where it just became like this pattern of every two years write fucking twelve to fourteen songs and It's sick. A lot of bands pull it off, but I don't know if I could do twenty four so- two LPs of twelve songs sounds intimidating to me. <laughs> you can. I mean what, you guys have what how many songs you guys have I'm now? Ten? I'm not sure. Ten, ten songs. Yeah, that was that, that was a guess. I think ten. Yeah, yeah, give or take some, yeah. but <laughs> give or take yeah. some. <laughs> One's not yeah. ours. <laughs> With the so let's just say ten, ten or less, and mm-hmm. the impact that the band has made is <clears throat> I've never seen anything like it. Hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, shit, dude. Like, not even LP. Like, like the like the momentum. It's just insane. And like seems like you guys just go by feel, mm-hmm. you guys go by feel, and then you guys uh, just seems like you guys also trust each other and just do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I think we point. definitely trust each yeah. other because everyone kind of has their own roles in the band. Yeah, and everyone just kind of does it. I don't know. I never have worried about any of them. Like I know he's gonna have good riffs. They're gonna have shows booked for us. I'm gonna play the drums. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. it's a team effort. What's uh, just out of curiosity, what yeah. what do you think your role is? Just drumming. Sick. I literally contribute nothing except drumming. <laughs> That's I'm not going to cap. I'm going to be straight up. It's a foundation. Yeah, no, I don't do we've nothing. Been, we've been writing a lot on the... On the new LP, I'm writing it with him. It's not programmed drums. Oh, really? So okay. I, yeah, so we are working on the LP together, so that's okay. cool. And yeah, it's uh, we're capable of doing more songs and more LPs, but it's hard mm-hmm. to like not be repetitive. you got to put thought into writing an LP. You know, yeah. you can't just do three songs and be like, this is cool, we'll put it out like we've been doing. you got to more be like... Okay, this is getting a little repetitive. Let's switch this track up a little or something here sure. there. But yeah, I just drum. And I'm helping write the drums now. Well, that's why it's Nami is sick. You guys got you guys got a sick drummer, dude. Fuck yeah. I yeah, probably, yeah. I'm, 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 he holds it down. I'm gonna just ruin your band. Because <laughs> 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 the, the drummer tends to get the get the woo <laughs> That no, tends to happen. No, no, no. Uh, I just I'm sorry, the band's gonna break up today. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> no, dude, it's if you gotta have a sick drummer. It's so it's so important, especially with like he, like, like heavier shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you need like a solid fucking drummer, you need those those fucking cut to the through through someone's chest lyrics. And you're uh, I'm I'm very curious, Joseph, with your with the first demo and so on, I, I heard you talk about you're listening to uh, East Coast hip hop. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, what, what, like, how, how did you, em- like, implement that into into the sound? Uh, straight from the demo, I think like, uh, I just wanted like to match like the ignorance, like kind of like violent lyrics, yes. or like just beating people up, you know. Of course, but uh, it's important. I just wanted to like maybe like imitate flows from like hip hop like really? New York yeah yeah honestly uh, and I sh- kind of felt like I stole some lines but like I, I remember writing the demo or hearing the, the songs and I was like I need to write lyrics so I listened to Big L like for a week straight and I was <laughs> just like let's go <laughs> is this Big L? yeah that's that's, that's a great name mm-hmm. and the go shout out there you go <laughs> the goat so he's from uh, East Coast obviously mm-hmm Wow. Never heard the name ever. You never heard Big L? Never. He's awesome. Rest in peace. Yeah, what uh what what's his era? Probably like mid nineties. Oh my favorite. Oh my I'm probably about to get blown away when, oh, I, okay. yeah. Yeah. when I jam this. What uh what other artists? Dude, straight up for that, I only listen to Big L. 
Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, so if you're ignorant like me, like because if you listen to his lyrics too, it's they're ignorant as fuck. Really? Yeah, but I think it's just like of that era too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean '90s like hip hop and rap. It, it was pretty like it was heavy, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. There was just no boundaries and nothing. It was sick as fuck, dude. Yeah. So what? Uh, again, so if you're ignorant, like what? What are like like what's like the go to record? Uh, just in general, mm-hmm. like any genre. Oh, of, of, oh, uh, big of a big L? L. Oh, real quick. The one on the right, lifestyles of the poor and dangerous. Ninety. Oh, it's on ninety five. Wow, lifestyles. Okay, I'm gonna fucking write that. That's a fucking new, a new rig, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> sick, dude. <laughs> yeah, mid, dude, mid nineties. Oh, mid nineties, any, anything for me. Mm-hmm. You guys have a very nineties sound. Really? Like, that's sick. Yeah, I that's like cool. It. Yeah, like 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 '90s Cannibal. That's all him. That's yeah. what you listen to. Everything Dude, he puts really me on to was like old slam death metal. Yeah. You know, I've recently everyone's been saying the names. Uh, fucking here we had, Defeat of Sanity. We had. I watched uh, that one the other day. What's like? Fuck. I mean, to me, like my my personal opinion, I think Defeat of Sanity is like the top tier of like brutal death metal out. Mm-hmm. Still do consistently. Uh, they talk about OGs like the Scourge so we had Diego on from, from the Scourge that, that'll be coming out in, in, in a few months and obviously we just had the environment that'll be coming out uh, yeah. ASAP they all said suffocation and I didn't realize how important that fucking band was until they all kept talking about this record their first record Pierce from Pierce from within yeah. Terrence I'm like oh shit like, this is Fuck where yeah. it, this is where it all started mm-hmm. man yeah so yeah, you guys do kind of have that sound without even knowing, like a kind of like like like. Oh yeah, a I was listening slam. to a lot of suffocation. That ba- uh, one of our songs has like a bass and drum intro that kind of straight. Like, I love that from, intro, dude. I should have got that from. Uh, forget the song name, but it's on the effigy of the forgotten. I kind of just stole the vibe of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I do I do the same thing. Sometimes you just steal, but but you put your own twist on it. Yeah. Well, like yeah. you you get well, like you know you do it right when you you steal it. And you show everyone this where I got it from. They're, they're like, yeah, yeah, fuck like yeah. yeah, you add your own fucking thing. You add, you add you yes. to it. You know, that's you guys did. Look, look at that legends, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. Those are the OGs, man. Terrence. <laughs> Have yeah. you seen them? Yes. You guys probably played with them. Yeah, uh, like mid mid two thousands. Fuck yeah, I've never seen them. Yeah, and and he still had Frank, and he's fucking fuck sick, yeah. dude. Now. Now they have Ricky on vocals, and he's oh look at that picture, dude. Classic. If you see that picture, you know that's fucking that that's that metal. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> there's something there's something about that sound where like if you put like suffocation on in the background or like let's say like more range or cannibal, it just has that sound. Mm-hmm. It's a very. I, w- I, I was know, talking I about know, this the other day. How come like I think those old records sound perfect, but no one like. It seems like no one these days can recreate that sound. No. Like, I don't know how it happens. It must be them going to tape or something. I think a little bit of tape. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll find out. I think, I, I think I probably don't know if I should say this on the pod, but I think they're going to be in here next week. Oh, hell yeah. Um, but from what I've, what I've, I've been asking the question, I'm curious. I have, I have the same thought as you. I'm like, what, what, is, what is it about that sound and, those, and, and the way those songs flow and feel? And then it's... From what I, I've been hearing, uh, the answer is there's, they're all literally still in the room writing and they, they just hashing it out. It's boring, this inner room jamming. Like, what, like, what you guys are doing right now? Just, yeah. just hashing it out for, for hours, playing it. And that's how, that's how you, you, you get that flow, that, oh, yeah. that, that unexplainable flow. I love it. Yeah, I wonder who produced Subvocation, actually. I, I, I have no idea. Hey, uh, Jay, can you uh, go to Wiki and type in uh, Subvocation? Yeah, because whoever, yeah, wh- whoever recorded that, there's there's a sound to it. There's there's like who fucking go down. Uh, let's see, FNG came out in ninety one. I didn't had no idea they're on Roadrunner. All right, personnel. Oh yeah, Scott Burns, of course. That makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna hit him up. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, they obviously probably recorded that in Tampa. Oh, dude, he did everything. Come on. Jesus Christ. Yep, that was Scott Burns. Yeah, fucking he, Cannibal, Suppo, maybe even Death to side. Yeah, what's that room called? I go, go up, Jay. There's a. It'll say should say the studio. 
fuck, what, what's that studio called? It's a, it, it's a legendary spot in, uh, in Tampa, Florida. Shit. I would not know. Where, where, yeah, I mean, I don't know. All, all those records are, re- are recorded there. Shit. Damn. Yeah, that, that, that explains it. That's that fucking late 80s, early 90s, like, Fuck DM yeah. sound mm-hmm. produced by Scott Burns. And uh, there's, there's two brothers uh, that, that also... There, there's the three guys that are just doing all those records, but then like span up like 10 years. I'm having a fucking brain fart, and, and, and it's, it's pissed me off, dude. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I, I literally was just doing this, this research. My, oh, shit. More sound. More sound. There it is. Boom. That, that's the studio where all those records were fucking being tracked at. That's sick. They should have a wiki. Hey, uh, yeah, t- type in more sound. And then, so I think everyone started going here because of death. Fuck yeah. Yeah, they, they started recording in the mid-80s, uh, late 80s. Yeah. Look at that, dude. More so. Who, who's that? <laughs> oh, my God. That's fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 imagine being there, dude. <laughs> Early 90s. Where, like, re, like recording that those kind of sounds were just kind of... It was unheard of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, I was, it was say, unheard it was of, When dude. it was fresh, it was like a... I don't know how to say it. There's an element of not knowing what, like, what the hell you're doing. But just trying or do or, or doing your your best. Hey Jay, uh, Damn. go to their uh, see if it if it has a wiki. So I want I want to say the brothers. I I think that's their last name. Let's, let's see, recording engineer. There's two. Oh yeah, there go Jim and Tom Morris. There you go. Those guys were recording all the death metal shit. Legends. So Scott Burns, Jim and Tom Morris, legends. Damn. And that's why Suffocation's sick. I'm gonna hit him up. <laughs> hit him up, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna hit that DM right now. Yeah. Dude, the power of DMs. I mean, I mean, yeah, Benny, you that's why we're here. Man. Yeah. <laughs> because your drummer hit me up. I, I talked to Ernie for a while, and then he got us in contact when we were in Columbia. Oh, yeah. And that's how I met you and Eddie and all you guys. I just talked to Ernie on Instagram for like a year or so, like all COVID probably. Mm. I don't know. But yeah, just DMs. And that's how we're here now. That's how I got in the band. I just asked in a DM. <laughs> yeah, asked. DMs are crazy. <laughs> I are, tell dude. people they don't use it enough. Like people always say like, don't overuse social media, all this. I completely agree. You shouldn't do too much. But it's very powerful if you use it correctly. And a lot of people sleep on it and they don't realize that. Agreed. You can do a lot. There's so many opportunities that I've gone through Instagram. It is absurd. It's crazy, man. I'm, yeah, it's crazy. It blows my mind. Look, you're yeah, you're, 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 you're in meant. Southern California yeah. right now, dude. That's what I mean. <laughs> because of Instagram. Yeah. It's not It's not because of your talent. No. It's, it's, it's <laughs> no. not because it's not you're tall and handsome. <laughs> it's, it's because of social media, Instagram. Def, that's, yeah. <laughs> no, the DMs are powerful. I, I always tell people, like musicians and people who ask me stuff, uh, like people always say they don't want to be that guy to like ask to be in a band or like ask to start something. I mm-hmm. see nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. Just creating an opportunity for yourself. Like the worst, if it's an already existing band, people will say no. It's not the end of the world. Mm-hmm. If you're asking people to start a new project or write something with you, there's just no harm in it, you know? People, I hear that all the time. They're just scared to reach out and ask people. They mm-hmm. don't want to be that guy, which I don't know what that is. I'm that guy. And <laughs> I'm having a great time with it, you know? Like, <laughs> Yeah, there's that weird, like... So use your DMs. That's all I'm trying to say. Hit people up. Don't punish people though. Slice. Don't hit them up too much. Don't punish people. You get those punishing. Put yourself DMs, out you there know. and then leave it. <laughs> leave it at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a big difference between being persistent yes. and then punishing. Yes. And, Absolutely. Uh, once, once you cross the line, which I've done many times. Yeah. <laughs> people yeah. never look at you the same. <laughs> 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 it fucking sucks. Yeah. But you know it. Yes, you do. You're right. You got. You got to ask. You just. You know, just fucking ask. But uh, there is. You've also had behind you like this you know this these years of talent that that you built you know it's not, it's not like you fucking hit mike and mike didn't know who like, yeah who yeah were, yeah, you know? yeah it's like you you've been putting in the work you know i try coming in right now I'm, you've been playing drums for what 14 years right? yeah yeah since i was like 13 or something that's crazy 14 yeah 13 14 14 years of just fucking them. yeah <laughs> i love it it's that's like yeah you said i put in the work but i just i have fun like it's my hobby it just is coincidental mm-hmm. that I'm getting to do cool stuff with it. 
Yeah, it, it looks like you're having a great time. I absolutely am. Yeah, yeah do that's you, cool. Do you play drums high? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do everything high. <laughs> well, I mean, like, during, like, the show, are you, like, say, fuck it, I'm getting high as fuck. I don't... Reaction. I don't feel that way ever anymore. Like, I'll smoke a blunt before oh. I set, but, like, it's just, like... Yeah, you're just, yeah, I you're get just my mind right. just gets my mind right. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's crazy how that... I'm not, like, faded. Like, if I drank mm. a few beers before a set, then I'd be like, ooh, I can't do that. Yeah, you get your, your, your feet Drinking, go, I feel it, but, yeah. Your feet are but gone. But, yeah, smoking, it's just, like, it just relaxes me. Gets me out of my head. I can, like, get in the groove a little more, zone out. That's fresh. Yeah. Or some hippie shit, Something you know? to take the edge off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you, again, you're so you're the only smoker. Yeah. So no, no one else at all. We're straight edge. Straight edge. He's just sober. I, I, don't like, uh, I don't like to smoke weed. I used to drink, but it became too much, so now I just... He's straight edge now. I'm going to let him <laughs> carry the X. Oh, oh damn. Yeah. You got, thank you, uh, thank you. You got, you got accepted. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> and I smoke enough for the whole band, so yeah. it works yeah. out perfectly. Dude, I, saw, I saw a video of rolling a blunt, and then looked, it was the size of this fucking baseball bat. Dude. I was like, <laughs> dude, <laughs> chill out, man. What is, what, what is Anami doing, dude? Like, are they, are they all, cause I didn't know, because I see you, I'm like, are they all stoners riding? I mean, what's like, but oh. apparently two straight edge yeah. dudes, uh, rip, rippers, newly sober, also newly edge. You got, <laughs> yeah. got breaking news. You got, yeah, breaking news. <laughs> Mike is straight edge. <laughs> I, I remember when I was straight edge for a little bit because you know I got in a hardcore scene. I, I went straight to throw down. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm, so I'm this moshing out of survival. I'm straight edge, <laughs> and I, I stopped claiming it because I didn't like what because because down here in SoCal, like Orange County, like the Inland Empire, you know, Dana Point, LA, like those scenes were kind of clashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah crews. Yeah, I, I wasn't any Indian crew ever. It was just as one. I just like like the music, so I, I stopped claiming it. For like a year or two, and then I tried to claim it again, and then I. Nah, man, you can't do that. I... <laughs> <laughs> you gonna have the stoner <laughs> tell you that, homie? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay, so okay, yeah. You guys probably look at me like like, like I'm an idiot. So I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and now you know now that I look back, I was telling this to a friend, and he had like a literally he had a straight up tattoo on, on his fucking neck. And he's like, no, you, you can't can't do that. <laughs> but I was like, but, but I haven't done anything though. But I mean, so by reclaiming, I meant like I didn't. I still haven't. You didn't break edge no. ever. You just stopped claiming for you. Yeah, I was just because yeah. like I'm tired of all this crew shit. Guys, all the tattoos and fucking pissing me off, dude. <laughs> and by, and by, all by, the tattoo people and, and, by, and fighting people and like shit. I was like, I mean, he was telling me you can't, you can't do that, man. Yeah. I was like, but, but, but so is that? But what if the person didn't do anything? Like I, I, I didn't break edge. I, I didn't drink or smoke till I was 21. At this point, I'm 19 and still haven't done anything. I try to, I try to re- reclaim it. I still love Throwdown. <laughs> so I was like, you know, let, let me back into, into the club. You know, you, know, you, know, you know what I'm saying? So no, it's, it, it's, it's a fucking no. Uh, <laughs> whatever you want to do. It's hard to say. I mean, like, it is like a personal choice, but like, I don't know. I don't it's know. tough, huh? Yeah. It might, it, might, it might fall into the category of, you know, can you drink caffeine? <laughs> Can you fuck? You know, there's like all there's like <laughs> different kinds of like straight edge, right? Yeah. I was so fucking pissed. Dude, just let, just let, let me be edge. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I sold out because uh, <laughs> because I Mitch sold out first. He turned 21, and then I was like, once he did, I'm like, okay, it's my turn. <laughs> and then we made it. Then we all became severe alcoholics. So good thing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Are you gonna go see the reunion? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's fuck. That's coming up. Yeah, I want to see Thrun on play uh, Beyond Beyond from Pair stuff. Uh, Bleeding through just got announced. Oh mm-hmm. yes, I love Bleeding through. I gotta put him on, on blast. But I literally just met Brandon like last week for the first time ever. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. It's so weird, dude. Like this whole fucking. It's you dude, guys never played together, dude. Like there's so many bands, even just from the fucking area. You just you cross paths, but you never like. Stop, shake, shake your hand, like yeah. this. There's so many, yeah, Bleeding Three is one of them. Uh, Throwdown is one of them. I literally, I literally had to start a podcast to meet Keith Barney. I you know, listened I, to that uh, last week. It's like, dude, I, I, I see you around all the time. We never fucking met, dude. It's so That's weird. That's crazy. It's so weird, dude. It's small, but it's not small enough to where <gasps> you could just, you know, you're, like, you're hanging out. With Who were people. your, like, homies when you, when Suicide Silence was like coming Like band out? homies? Yeah, like. Band. 
Do we got, uh, we're, again, like, I'm spoiled. Uh, I live two miles away from, from Showcase. So I don't know if you're familiar. I'll, I'll start, I'll start shooting, shooting our bands. From the area, we had a band called uh, Final Burden. Oh, I remember them. Close homies, uh, Bound in Blood. X Bound in Blood. X. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah you got you got those X's. Important. Yeah. <laughs> important, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's still you on know. my iPod. Oh, my <laughs> yeah. goodness. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, Gabe, their, their singer, shout out to Gabe Ochoa, he's why, I mean, SS got, got the hype. He, he started yeah. throwing us on all the Hollywood shows at Showcase. Yeah. It's back then, like, no one really wanted to give us a shot. We're, you know, we're playing breakdowns and blast beats, and, but he fucking, you know, believed in us. It's so sick. And I went, went to high school with a couple of the Final Burden guys. Um, Mitch was in a band called Dying Dreams, uh, pre Suey. And I, I decided. Who else was from that area? As Blood Runs Black, they're more like in uh, like the Los Angeles area. Um, it's like probably like, you probably look at SoCal like I look at you guys. Where like I look at like San Jose, San Francisco, all like all like the same area. Anything Fresno and below is LA. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, got it. I don't want to think it's just LA. <laughs> oh shit! There's uh, yeah, that's that showcase. Wait, is that showcase? Pull that picture. Yep, the showcase. Damn. That's yeah. That's mentioned his first band. Dang. And uh, the guy behind him is uh, Big Mike. He played for obviously that band, and then he was one of the first bass players for Sui. Dude, so many great bands. It was literally down the street from my fucking house, dude. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll just walk there. Just hang out. And uh, did you guys have a similar like like uh, like community where you could just go to outside a venue and just stand outside and just oh, yeah. chill? Yeah. Best. I lived down the street from a, a venue we had called The Cave. The Cave. It was a huge church. that uh, That's where I first saw Terror. Um, hmm. But yeah, I would just go there. Any Friday, Saturday, Sunday, there was always a show. Fucking a billion people there. Just the hangout. Wow. Yeah. That's probably where you saw Joseph. Did you ever go there? At The Cave? Yeah. I've been to one show at The Cave. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It was sick. Yeah, how far was, was San Jose to where you, you were staying? Uh, it's about maybe like 30, 40 minutes. Okay. And, so yeah. like s- and as a kid, close. it's like, I'm never going to get to San Jose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's so weird when you're like a teenager, like, oh, that's just 30 minutes away. I'll never go. Yeah. There. <laughs> <laughs> I will never go there. Yeah. Over here, we had like showcase and then you have chain reaction. They're like 35, 35 minutes away, but you're a kid and like, I want to see, see skinless, but I can't because it's fucking 30, <laughs> you know, like, I'll, I'll never go there. <laughs> I remember I told my parents I was going to Gilroy. And I ended up going to uh, Internal Affairs last show at Chain, and that was really? my first time ever Whoa. going. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you guys got to experience that. It was crazy. You guys played it. Mm-hmm. Did you guys ever think once Tsunami started to really start going, like, oh shit, we're gonna like, we're gonna play in SoCal. We're like, we're gonna play in Columbia. We're gonna play in Florida. We're gonna. You know what? We're gonna book a tour. It's pretty no. crazy. It's, it is crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the only way. It's, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's also bizarre because it, uh, it just seems not planned, you know? It's, it definitely wasn't planned. It's not, yeah. Still it's isn't. Not, yeah. Still nothing is planned. Man, there might be a, a chance for I need to come in and like, okay, you guys, you guys do this and have it. <laughs> let's fuck organize it. Okay, basically, I'm manager now. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's... That's just, I mean, it, it's kind of like the band shows you guys in like a weird way, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then we just have fun. Just totally. Know, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just fucking have, have fun. Have no expectations yeah. and you're chilling. When you have no expectations and you play a show like RBS, like how is that? That's fucking. It's nuts. just unreal. Unreal oh, yeah. every time. Yeah. I had like the goosebumps the whole time. I was having a hard time like holding on to my guitar pick. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so nuts, man. Cause is this your second show? I don't, I don't play a show like this in years down the road. You guys were just thrown into it, dude. Holy mm-hmm. fucking moly, man! Special time, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. And also, like, there's just something going on with like Gulch and uh, Drain and like like with the Bay Area hardcore scene. There's something special going on. It's like it's on fire. It seems. Fuck like, yeah. You know, what Like, what are you guys drinking up there? You guys drinking, like, some special water? Or what's, like, the... <laughs> I think because, like, we just did our own thing and didn't really give a fuck if anyone cared or not. We just mm. put on for each other and mm. did not care. 
and people liked it. We've got a nice mix of genres too. Yeah, and no one sounds you know, the same. That punk, is true. thrash, we're beat down. And there's other heavier bands, there's other thrash bands in our scene, but and what's cool we all support is, each other. Yeah, it's like all those, like, it's not really separated. Like, you'll go to any one of those type of shows, and it's the same type group of people that go into every type of show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like you all just kind of, like, built it. Yeah, know? straight up. You just kind of, like, helped each other, you know? So you guys were going to do... Dude, I'm not down with the flashing lights. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the strobe lights last, last night were not the vibe. <laughs> Sold out, sold out last night, sold out tonight as well. Mm -hmm. That is insane, insane. But but you guys, you guys definitely deserve it, earned it, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Stoked. Dude, am I am I coming out of March retirement today? What the, the hell the hell is going on? Handle. <laughs> yes. What? Yeah, it. So pre pre tsunami, obviously, uh, you have you know, which some, some of you guys were in Drain and Gulch and. Uh, and, and those kind of bands like what what was going on before that kind of took over like was there like a low in that in that scene oh yeah there was a while where we you go to shows and it was just our group of friends yeah, at every show the same like yeah. 30 people all are the you time. serious for yeah, yeah. years long time and then it kind of just i couldn't maybe say. like a year or two before like gulch and everything formed like there was just like more new kids that popped yeah. up mm -hmm. uh but Honestly, it was pretty dry. You, you kind of recognized everybody at every show. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why it's crazy now. I'm like, I don't know anybody at these shows. It's like a bunch of new kids, and that's why it's cool. That's bizarre. But yeah. My pops used to drive me to, like, the shows they're referring to when I was, like, 14, 15. And, yeah, I was, like, the always the same people. <laughs> how do you feel about How do you feel about it now to, like, where, like, like where it's going? It's impressive. It's cool seeing all the homies do cool things because everyone's doing something with their talents, you know? Yeah, like how all the all our homies are getting love. It's not just one band. Mm -hmm. Like everyone's yeah. doing cool shit, mm -hmm. and we could kind of do cool shit together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I liked how you guys never talked about uh, we're influenced by this band, we're inspired by this band. It's just the way you, you uh, I think it was you, Joseph, that that worded it in a way where you know we see our friends doing cool shit, we just want to do cool shit too. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously you guys grew up on like you know terror and like you know first blood. You know, stuff, yeah. you know, stuff like that, you know. But yeah, it's the way the guys didn't really, because you know, me personally, I did like some digging, like you know, what what are their influences? It's curious, and like you know, you guys never said that. Like, if someone asks you that, you'll be like, well, you know, our friends are doing cool stuff, and we want to do cool stuff too. That, that, that makes you want to do cool stuff, mm -hmm. and that yeah. really explains your uh, your very unique sound without without without, without even trying. Mike's pretty pretty cool. Hell yeah, you know. And then you combine that with just listening to Camel Corpse all day, and that's just fuck yeah. You know, it's, it's, I'm, I'm just gonna plug into my PV 5152, and then and that's it. Hell rig yeah. rundown, huh? Dude, <laughs> I do. I watch rig rundowns all day long. I love <laughs> that shit. I just watch. I, that's why I, I couldn't find a Camel Corpse one. There's a Cuddy. You gotta like do some research to find their tone. But I straight up rip the. I use all the same gear they use. Yeah, the, you know they have the uh, their, they're like modded. Metal zone, yeah, that's the one thing I can't figure out. Yeah. I don't know how to do I all think the we just gotta steal it. We just gotta, yeah, we just gotta run up and <laughs> yeah. I, I think Rob's been recently. That's what used. I use. Oh, yeah, you use the um, Maxon, yeah, Q yeah. Screamer. I like his description, it sounds like two guitars. I was like, sold. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know the technical shit. I was like, this shit sounds crazy. I'm gonna buy it. It's like, I want <laughs> Dude, that, what a great selling point. Yeah, <laughs> that is marketing genius without even trying. He doesn't it get all like technical with it. He's like, yeah, this knob sounds crazy. I was like, right, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. Yeah. And what you have, a uh, you have a bossy key pedal too, right? No, I don't use EQ pedal. You don't? I, no. I, I thought I thought I heard you talking about it. Maybe, uh, maybe I think I used to, but I, I don't use the EQ pedal right now. I don't know how to. Use, I tried to, but I don't know how to fuck with all the. I don't know what each setting represents. Like, I don't know We're just to, like little yeah, monkeys I in do, there. I, <laughs> yeah, I, just, yeah, I feel you. I don't know what like I just fuck with it a little bit till it sounds how I want it to sound. I don't know what exactly each thing is really supposed to do. <laughs> I know the drive one and the tone, but I know they represent like mids and highs and shit. I don't know about all that shit. This met this mess with the knobs. And yeah. Like, oh, wait, if this oh, it sounds good there, I'll, I'll I'll keep it there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's you there's a magic not knowing what what you're doing. You know, 
I mean, I, I think I kind of get the vibes. Just scoop the mint. <laughs> <laughs> mm. But, uh, yeah. What's I, your What's your cab? I use a, uh, I use two cabs. I use his Marshall lead. I think it's a similar one to, that's in there. Okay. And then I have a, a Mesa direct fire cab, the oversized. Oh, so, so you use both. I got, I got a Marshall yeah, I cab through, tone and the Mesa. I play through two heads. I okay. do like the ABY thing. Okay. So I normally play through a JCM 800 and a triple rec at the same time. Mm. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, That's why in the videos it sounds like it's a bass. It's too much low end. I need to fuck with it more. I honestly don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> now, dude, right? I'm always sad, dude. Me, me too. And then I finally, you know, sometimes like you're able to put like a thought into words. It's really hard. I, I finally put my thought into words. Like literally, like this week, and I fucking I blew my own mind. Where I always say like, you know, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing either. Uh, this, I don't know what I'm doing. But then there's a magic to knowing what what y- you want to do. But you don't, you don't, know, you don't know what you're doing. But you know what you want. Mm-hmm. Yes. I was like, oh, shit, yeah. I mean, you always knew what, what you wanted, and you always knew what you didn't want. Yeah. And then you just try it, or at least do your best. Just do stuff to get to that point. You yeah. Know? yeah. I mean, it's, it's, essentially speaking, yeah. yeah. It's nuts, dude. It's like, oh, shit, I'm, I'm fucking smart, dude. Like, Hell yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, damn, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking impressed myself and shit. <laughs> I thought, but, uh, but Mike, I thought you used a uh, PV. I used to. Or did to. I hear that wrong at some oh, point? Oh, no, I, I used to. I sold it when I bought my uh, triple rectifier. When was this? Um, I'd say a couple months ago, maybe. I like. Uh, I stopped using the PV because as much as I love the tone on the PV, because I, I was always going for that machine head burn my eyes tone with the 5150. Of course. But for me, it's so hard to control the hum and the feedback on the 5150s. Mm. So... Uh, yeah, there is that trick where you can use, like, the effects loop of the pedal, but I don't know how to do all that shit, so I just... I noticed on the JCM and the Triple Rec, there's, like... I'll do the clean cuts, like, you pause in between, like, on a... Like a... Like a pause part on the song, and there's no feedback, so that's why I fuck with those heads. I see. More recently. Two heads, man. That's uh, that, that's how you gotta do it. <laughs> even uh, even uh, in, like, studio... What was that? Even in like in like the studio. Oh no, in the studio, everything we've recorded was a fifty one fifty. Ah. I'm recording. I'm. I was talking about live. Okay. Yeah, I'm recording. We always just use the at Panda Studios. They have like a classic block letter, fifty one fifty. Two or or one. The like the original one. I think okay. before it was Eddie Van, Eddie Van Halen. Oh, really? I don't know. I don't know much about it, but uh, that thing you don't even need pedals. It just sounds bomb right away. So yeah, you, you plug it in. Just, there it is. That's our go to for recording. Dude, that sound is the fucking. That's the Orange County hardcore scene sound too. Like, <laughs> like those old like bleeding three records and like well, those old like. They were. They used to be so cheap. Like you could just if your tubes went out, you just buy another one for like three hundred <laughs> bucks. <laughs> but now they're like f- twelve hundred bucks. Well now, yeah, yeah, they're like vintage gear now. Yeah. It's so when they when they anything crosses the line to like vintage, you're kind of fucked, dude. Yeah. yeah. And it's just yeah. let's just jack up the price for no apparent reason because because it's older. I hate being a gear snob, but man, when the older shit just sounds fucking. It does. It sounds warm and But sexy. it's less reliable, like, when you go on the road. Oh, like. that sucks. Yeah, it's, it's, it's guaranteed to fucking... What do you guys use? Uh, just for reliability, we've been using the EVH3s. Oh, he has one of those. It sounds bomb. It sounds, yeah, it sounds, the, it sounds the incredible. The 50-watt one is perfect for me. The 50 watt one actually, I think, sounds better than the, than the 100 watt. Mm-hmm. I, w- I wish I got the uh, 50. Whenever, whenever I plug into a 50, it's like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just fucking crank it. And tubes start tubes start working, get getting all warm and fuzzy, fuck yeah, and sexy. <laughs> Say, Benny, what's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, dudes, uh, thank you for uh, coming down today, dude. Thanks, thanks, for, you. For, having thanks for having us, dude. Yeah. I was uh, I was really honored to hang out with you guys. Thank you. you We're know? stoked. So it's a weird life we live. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Hell yeah. We we just play music and then we're just gonna meet each other and start talking. <laughs> You know, Hell yeah. so it's kind of a trip like to talk to people like right out of the gates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the, the thing the thing is kind of weird. Like I'll, I'll meet I'm, I'm, I today I met you guys. Besides Benny, I met you guys. Hey, you guys want to go on camera and start talking? <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, it's fucking weird, but dude, I'm so fucking I'm so good honored that uh, you guys you know took time out of your day. And I know it's kind of a crazy schedule being being here. You guys, no, gotta, you thank you. Yeah, we're we're chilling. Thanks yeah. for having us, dude. It's dude, an honor for real. Anytime. Hey, hey, Jay, can we uh, can we pull up the uh, hammer? <laughs> <laughs> let's let's close it out. What am I looking for? The hammer? 
Uh, one, one of the links that I, I sent you. There's Joseph's face. Wait, can, can, Not oh, there. That's, nope. a, that's an ad. My bad. I was like, damn, you're on that website? <laughs> oh, that's a news website. Yeah, Never mind. A, I was thinking of something Actually, uh, hey, Jay, type in Tsunami Rising Merch. There's something that the world has to see oh, right now. Oh, that hammer. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're looking for. Dude, here. we brought those in Europe, and some kid was like, all, or actually, it was the homie. He was a... Uh, <laughs> He was all drunk, moshing with the hammers. They had to tell him to stop. Oh, yeah. I thought of that when you were talking about the vocalist who put the hammer on his microphone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shout out to Her Karana and shout out to Donnie Brook, man. There it is. <sighs> the RBS what is hammer. this thing? Okay, <laughs> whose idea was this? Them? It, it was them. So they're like, when we went to Europe, they're like, yo, like, <laughs> you guys want hammers? Stupid. And I was just like, all right. <laughs> None of us knew. So when they showed up, we were like, what the, the fuck, fuck is, is this? Box yeah. 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 And he was like, we had hammers made, by the way. Dude, no <laughs> one listening to us is going to use that. At work. That's like a novelty. Well, and trying to transport those, like, from the UK to, like, Europe. Yeah, we oh, just had to, like, sneak like, them. <laughs> hiding them and, like. And most awesome. venues, when they saw it, they're like, you can't sell that here. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. So, so there's, like, a venue that said, you guys, no, there's, you can't, no, I can sell hammers. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this, it says, Dude that's so you're, you're a bitch. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, what a fucking perfect thing to put on a hammer. I wish I got How the hell did they do that? Was it screen printed on there? Oh, it's engraved. like engraved. It's oh, engraved. hell yeah. yeah. That's engraved? Yeah. yeah. Damn. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's sick. Okay, who came with the logo? Uh, almost, almost forgot. Uh, so it's this dude that does graffiti. He writes lead. Mm. Uh, but he's just a homie of mine. And uh, Sick. He owed me a favor. He's just like, yo, I'll do this logo for you guys. And we just used it. Mm. That's sick, dude. <laughs> well, fuck yeah. Tonight, Chain Reaction, I'll be there. Fuck nope. yeah. I'll be, uh, I'll be in the back drinking a beer. Hell yeah. Staying away from, from, from the mosh. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> so where can people find you guys? Honest, like, like, we don't have a website other than just using our own social media. Uh, so... Just look up Tsunami, I think 408 on Instagram, mm -hmm. and then Tsunami. There it is. Who is that? <laughs> His name is Big G. That's Big G. Yeah, that's Big, Big G. G. Okay. Uh, I was curious, like, you know, I, you know when you're, when you're an outsider and you start looking, I'm, I'm, I'm like, who is that? He'll be there tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he will be there. Oh, yeah, tonight. shout out Extinguish. <laughs> Plays guitar in Extinguish. Oh, sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does not look like that. <laughs> not what he looks yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, this guy, his name's Ged in real life, <laughs> but uh, his face just goes super well with face filters. No, <laughs> ma no matter what it is, and it looks real. <laughs> so that's not a real picture? No. No, no. I wish it was. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, do you realize that, like, People outside <laughs> your your community like like uh, they just look and see that picture like who the fuck is that? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it's, it's, it's kinda, it's, I was just telling Joseph this morning that I gave a drum lesson to this kid and he just wanted to talk a lot of it about uh, the band and whatnot, which was cool. But he mm -hmm. was pressed because he'd been looking all over the internet for that profile picture and he, i don't know why he just thought it was funny and yeah. i was like oh it's just a picture of our friend bro like you can't find that anywhere bro and he was like my friends love it it's hilarious like, uh, it's just, okay it's just funny yeah it's just funny oh my goodness it's all jokes man you guys start off as a joke but it's kind of serious In interesting it's re that's a really interesting concept mm -hmm. i think it's serious yeah. to like where like we want to play good and sound good but everything else is, like, just fun. Yeah. yeah. Like, we're just having fun. People, like, really like our band. And so we, like, when it comes to it, like, we want to be a good band for them. So. Very cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, Tsunami, real bay shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Heavy riffs up your ass. What's up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, everyone. But that's it. Tsunami. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, dude.